Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name's Josh. Before we get started today, I want to talk to you about Drift. Now, I teamed up with Drift a couple of months ago and I actually super, super impressed with their product. They're actually a sister company to Scentbird, which is pretty cool. High quality stuff here. So they sent me this package this month and I want to have a smell to see what it's all about. So this is the package it comes in, which is kind of nice, not going to lie. It comes in this scent sealed package that keeps it fresh. Um, got a little sticker on it. This one is uh, teak. Got musk, amber, pepper, teak, and cedar. Let's open it up and have a smell. Ooh. There it is. So it's got this handy little uh, metal tab on the back. And here's the clip that it comes with. And then you just go like this. Boom. And so it's got a little bit of a spicy musk to it. So it's got musk, amber, pepper, teak, and cedar. I can smell that pepper in there in the cedar. It's really, really, really nice. And it lasts about 30 days. If you got teenagers, maybe a little less. And it's like a good 30 days that's not overpowering inside your vehicle wherever you put it. And actually, I keep one on my desk right here because I actually love the smell of it. And every single one of my cars has one of these in it because I love it. And I just love that you can pop this off, get your different scent, and just snap it right back on. And this teak smell actually reminds me a little bit of Christmas, not gonna lie. I know it's not even Halloween yet, but I don't care. It gives me that nostalgic Christmas vibe. I really, really enjoy this smell. I can't wait to smell what other ones they have as well. Not only do they have these, it comes in nice cedar blocks, but they also have stone ones and they have things for your home, like reeds, like spray scents and candles. They have so much cool stuff on their website at drift.co. They even have a scent quiz on their website. You take it and it lets you know what you're probably gonna wanna get. And the October scent of the month is spirits, which is halloween -y. And they also have a referral program, which I just checked on the website and found out was really cool. If you refer a friend, they'll give you a scent refill, which is kind of cool, not gonna lie. They will reward their loyal customers. And what's really cool about Drift is that you get scent of the month. So uh, it lasts about 30 days, so I'd get on the monthly program. If you like it, you keep it, but I would be a little bit adventurous and get their scent of the month club if I were you. They're usually inspired by the season, which is great because again, Christmas is coming, folks. So because Drift partners with me, that means you get a sweet deal. Use code the DCP to get 55% off your first month. And I promise you, you're gonna wanna do this. It's sustainable. It's fresh. It looks cool. It's awesome. It smells awesome. It's just cool. Perfect gift, perfect stocking stuffer, perfect for everybody in your life. Doesn't matter who. It makes your life smell that much sweeter. So head over to drift.co, use my code the DCP, get 55% off your first month. And thank you so much, Drift, for sponsoring this video. Now let's get to it. Everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. Happy Sweater Weather Friday. It is official sweater weather here in Canada. I have so many sweaters I like to wear, so just get ready. You're gonna see them all this season. I get new ones every year too. Just pile on the sweaters. I love my cozy sweaters. Today we're talking about Alicia. She went shopping for the twins for the birthday. Let's see what debauchery she got up to because I'm sure it's gonna be bananas. For some reason, I don't know why. She spares no expense on the twins, you know what I'm saying? So I think she's probably just trying to make up for some things. Anyway, we're gonna snark on that today. We're gonna also spin the old wheel because that's what we do here. If you are a member or a patron of this channel and you're above the first tier, every week you get put on this sweet little wheel right here, okay? And then I dance really badly and then it lands on a name and you win a sweet prize including stickers and shirts, and sometimes there's treats in there. I gotta get the treats, you know, I gotta send the treats. So, and then at the end of every month, if you are any member, any level, you get on that wheel and we spin usually twice and people win things and prizes and stuff. So I really enjoy spinning the wheel for people. Actually, here's the wheel. Sorry, I usually point it and then the wheel pops up, but the wheel wasn't spinning, so there it is. So we will spin the wheel, we will dance a little bit and someone's gonna win a prize and then we'll get to the snark. Yeah, baby. Kelly Madick, Madick, I think it is actually, reach out to me with your shirt size and your address, josh at the dad challenge podcast.com and I will hook you up. Let's get to the snark. Oh, before I forget, I got shipped some treats. I've got a new flex address locally, so you guys can ship me stuff if you'd like. I don't always open boxes and stuff, but uh, this came from Abby. Abby said something about, let me read this, sorry. 
You mentioned a video a couple weeks ago about nobody likes marshmallows. I have a friend that works at a candy shop and makes homemade marshmallows that are actually good. I've included some in this box as well as some other American treats. Enjoy. P.S. You're amazing human. What you stand for is great. Keep being awesome. Well, thank you. And she hashtag stop child exploitation, stop family. <laughs> Hashtagged it in a letter, which is great. I love it. So let's see this delicious treat box. Look how well this is organized. Something tells me Abby has a very clean home. It tells me that everything's in its place. She does not like clutter. Abby, if you're there, tell me if I'm correct. So we got some uh, American treats here. Pretzel crunch bar, a clay bar, clay bar. Dark chocolate bar, pretzel crunch. Oh my gosh. That's not gonna last round here. I'll tell you that much. That's for sure. We've got some pecan spin wheels. Whatever that is. American, I've never seen this in America. A uh, jalapeno smoke meat snack. If Tyson lived here, he would demolish this, I, but I'm gonna eat it. Pringles at a... Atabata? Atabata? Is that how you say it? Atabata? Looks like lime, heat, chili, and f and uh, lava. That's That sounds like it's going to burn my colon. I don't know if I'll eat that, but we'll see. I'm not a big fan of hot stuff, guys. I don't know if you knew that. I'm Canadian. Um, Java-flavored Oreos. <laughs> Holy smokes. We don't have these here. I got to smell them. Hold on a second. This smells like straight coffee. I'm having some of those. So we got, okay, so apple pie. So hopefully these aren't poisoned. So we'll find out in a minute. I'm not a big fan of marshmallows, I'm just not. But someone's making some boutique marshmallows. I'm gonna enjoy it. Oh my gosh, that smells good. That smells really good. That is good. It tastes just like apple pie. Oh, that's really good actually. Okay, okay, okay. And they come from a place called Sweet Bean in uh, Sweet Bean candies.com okay so on this one we've got uh watermelon raspberry chocolate and cookie monster dang my kids my kids are gonna love these what's this one this one smells like watermelon watermelon even has the seeds in it see i'm not a huge fan of marshmallows but that tastes like a watermelon marshmallow and i'm in like i would eat this every day that's really good to the raspberry one because i love raspberry The watermelon one's better. Okay, here's the chocolate. So I just, honestly just tastes like a brownie, and I'm in. I like it. The Cookie Monster, you can see the Cookie Monster. Very good. So I actually stand corrected. I do like marshmallows, but I like expensive boutique marshmallows, so let's be real. like. Normal marshmallows, I'm like, I'm not, like if I was lost in the desert and I had only marshmallows to eat, I'd eat them. I'd be okay with that. I'm just not the biggest marsh, but these are really good. Only the watermelon by far and the apple pie ones by far amazing. So thank you to Abby and to Sweet Bean Chocolate. Appreciate that and these snacks as well. Going in my snack drawer over here. Oh, I love it. Thank you for sending me those treats. I really appreciate you. Sorry, let's get to this darn snarkin. The darn snarkin. Alicia goes shopping. I bet you. So what's she gonna get? She's gonna get them football gloves. Last, I think when I remember one year she bought them like three pairs of like hundred dollar football gloves each because they kept losing them. <laughs> if you're gonna lose hundred dollar football gloves, you're about to use ones I find at the dollar store. Okay, so let's get to it. Hi everyone, it's hey. Alicia with the Dr. Hey. And this is the twins birthday vlog. The twins are two of our 11 children um, and they are now nine years old and we got a <coughs> lot of shopping to do. Let's go, but first, call. And she shops like the day always. There's never a video where she's like, I shopped for them months ago because I think ahead. It's always like, the birthday's tomorrow. Better give them some gifts. Coffee. I'm starting at Party City. It is a sports themed um, birthday party. I'll show you the invitation. It's super cute. And we're having <laughs> Do you make that in paint? Did he, does Microsoft Paint even exist anymore? This woman will spend $1,000 on Gatorade, but like will get the cheaply, most cheapest made birthday invitations ever. Party at a park. He, they want to like play sports and stuff. So I'm just going to go in here. I'm going to get like the plates and... Plates. That 
things we can throw and litter in the forest. Kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, we got a bunch of. Why are your nails ugly? Turns to run. So the main present is done. The main present I'm gonna po be posting this after their birthday, so I can say what it is now. Is tickets to see WWE floor tickets floor. live floor tickets. <laughs> okay. Coming to our city. They're going to flip out. They're going to flip out. They are obsessed with WWE. So I'm really excited for them to open that present. Uh, That's good. You know, good for her. We got to give her credit where her credit's due because I was snarking her for everything. That is a gift that she thought ahead of time and made put some thought into it. Is it an experience that they're going to have? They're going to love it. That's what you should do. That should be it. And a couple of small gifts. That's it. Like, that's great. And then you're teaching your kids moderation. You're teaching them to be appreciative of things that you're, that's good to put thought into something. Good for you, Alicia. But that's not where she's going to stop this. She's going to be like, and then I'm going to buy them each a new house. And uh, they're all going to get brand new TVs because they smashed them. Then you're going to get new gloves and footballs and shoes. Like, she doesn't stop there. That would have been great. And more of that, more experience driven stuff. That's great. But then she's still dumb. But I also want to give them like some tangible presents to open. That's a tangible. Pr <laughs> okay, yeah, I understand that. And so I'm saying a tangible. Here's a, that and a hoodie, right? Here's a great pair of socks. But she's meaning tangible, meaning I also want to give them 400 gifts to open is what she's saying. And they have a list. Of there they colors. Go. Okay. Shut so, up. So let's go. But first I want to get the party supplies. This is going to be the worst part of this video. <laughs> Our insane birthday month. Bodhi's birthday was at Shut up. Two. Shut up. 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 What the F was that? P.S. Party. And I changed into a short so I could do it. And you know what I'm The forecast for the past day of her key. Get a bird. This week has been rain for the twins' party, outdoor party. And like so go rent an indoor party place. There's indoor soccer places and they can play sports. You can rent them. You got the money. Do it. By the grace of God, it has changed so that like at their party time, it looks like the rain might stop. Definitely that was God changing the weather for your kid's birthday party. That's definitely what happened. For their party. You imagine? You imagine God has this like weather plan. He's like, oh my gosh, I forgot it was a twin's birthday. My bad. Let me get you some nice weather there, doctor. He doesn't so you can exploit your children even more. And yeah, so that is God speaking in an upper New York, northern New York accent. I hope so. I hope so. But I mean, I feel like if God is God, and he is God, that probably going to speak to you in your own language. It's not going to be a fun party if it's raining. <laughs> you can get most of what I need in this plaza at Best Buy and Target, and if need be, Staples. Again, how much were the tickets? I know that uh, my mod, my Beavers unit, she's one of my greatest mods, she sent me what the tickets were. So she got them... Uh, $168 each for the tickets that they're sitting. And now they're not just going to take the twins. They're going to take everybody. So they're probably spending $10,000 to go to dang wrestling. And then they'll eat there too. Yes, Staples. You're Staples. You need to staple your thumbs together. <laughs> I'm having a deja vu right now, I think. Or this is what she has always done. And this is like the 10th time she's done this. It's probably that. If you need to pull a card out for Best Buy, that's too many things. All right, they really want a PS5. They share a bedroom. No. No! You're taking them to the wrestling. I want to give them a few tangible gifts to open. A PS5? So they're going to share the PS5. Oh, they have to share the PS5, those poor souls. Find the customer service. So I'm just looking at games. Is she literally buying them a PS5 for their birthday and taking them $10,000 wrestling? Are you out of your mind, Alicia? And so she's going to have to buy them a PS5 and she's going to have to buy them a gamer too or eight, whatever she does. Holy shnikes, Alicia. $50, okay. PS5 is what, $700? And I'm adding 24 that's it. That's all you need. That's all you need. Yeah, I get this. Oh my gosh, Alicia. You don't have to. Save some for Christmas. You're so dumb. Save some for Christmas. 
You know what she'll do at Christmas? She'll buy the same games because she's like, what did I get? them? I forget. I'll get it all again. At Christmas, she'll buy the other one a PS5 because they'll be arguing over the PS5 and they'll have to get their own. Oh my. I'm always like scared of these that the alarm's gonna go. Don't buy those for your children who will break them. So like $200. That has happened to us before. They're very delicate. Get the cheap ones. Are you out of your mind? It never ceases to amaze me. The craziness of her shopping sprees. Okay, it's enough. $75 for a controller. She's going to get two of them. So right now, we're well over, well over $1,500 just on this gift. Then thousands and thousands for wrestling. My gosh. Can you imagine the... They're friends. Like, what'd you get for your birthday? Oh, you know, PS5, 10 games, going to wrestling, did you travel to Italy, have some pizza? Like, do you know that these kids are at school being like totally flexing everything? Oh, they need a TV for No, they don't. No, they don't. They have a TV. They don't want like a huge one because they already have two TVs in their room. What? Now they need a TV for their room, which already has two TVs in it. What do they need a TV for? But I don't want either of them to have to think then their TV has to be the PS5 TV. So I'm gonna go. You are, you're out of your mind. But I don't want them to be like, well, my TV is the PS5 TV. You know, you could do, you just get an HDMI switcher. It's about this big, it's like 10 bucks. You put the HDMI from the PS5 into it and then two HDMIs out to their TV. So whoever wants to play it, if they want it on, why do they have two TVs anyways? Crazy is beyond me because they have iPads, they have phones, they have switches. What? But anyway, you don't need another TV. Just get a switcher and you press a little button on that little switcher, click, and it goes to one TV or the other one. But not Alicia. No research gets put in this. Let's buy another flat screen TV. So these boys have Three flat screen TVs in their bedroom. Wow, Alicia, you are a dumbass. Go with this one, 24 inch. What they're gonna, and if they have bigger TVs, they're gonna put it on a bigger TV and you are out of your mind. You are crazy. And she does this because she wants people to be upset with her. She wants people to be like, how dare, why are you so bad at parenting? You're crazy, Alicia. I feel like gaming chairs is something that Best Buy should carry, but I don't see them anywhere. They don't need gaming chairs. It's a PS5. Except, no. Let's go get You're going to get them gaming chairs. PS5 at customer service and ask if they have gaming chairs here. There it is. That's their way. No, there's no way it's 519. No way it's 519. Just the PS5 is over $500, is it not? Okay, that was just the PlayStation 5 she's paying for. Okay. That's, okay. <laughs> Do you want to bag for this though? Yeah, buddy. I do want a bag for this $1,000 I'm about to spend. Um. Yes. No, that's okay. I got it. Well, she just looks, she just holds it on the price too. Like, how tacky can you get? Alicia doesn't, and this is this is her whole MO. She's like, look how much I'm spending. Like, in the end, if you want to spoil kids, okay, whatever, right? But she does it because she's getting the comments and she wants you to know how much she spent, so you'll comment on it. Where's the price? Move the light! Yeah. Can't see it, dumbass. Couldn't see the price! It was well over 1200 though. All right, I am going... Next to a Tesla. Is that a Model Y or Model uh, 3? Looks like it. That's a Y. Okay. Run into Staples for gaming chairs. They don't carry them in store here. They carry them online. 
But I. Oh my gosh, she's crazy! What do you see? Like uh, the PS5 and stuff. That's Christmas gifts. Come on. Yes, they usually do. And you know what? These kids are gonna open these presents. They're gonna be like, yeah. And then everybody else is gonna bring them gifts too, because their family comes over, like the original family comes over. Nana, that son of a bitch, usually comes over. They give gifts. So these kids are gonna have like 400 gifts to open. And this is this is what that's how they open gifts, ready? They're gonna be like, oh, I got a $500 gift card. Thing next. They're going to flip out. They don't care. Those are good chips. Okay. Thanks for buying. Thanks for getting the cart to go. Chick, 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 chick. They used to be here during the pandemic because they have bulk stuff like snacks and stuff. Go get a different cart! For offices, and that's how we get a lot of our food because there's shortages. She looked like Robin Hood's ugly cousin. Anyways, side story. Okay. There's that gaming chair. Hot. That looks cheaper than I should get. I should get the expensive one. Deal. Oh, and look, there's different colors. Yep. Perfect. Now what colors should I get? There's red, black, white, blue. Do not get children white things. What's the difference between the vortex and the bar? Nothing. Oh, that one looks bigger. Okay, so we definitely want the... Vortex because it's not a so she's about to drop two hundred and fifty dollars on two chairs too on top of the twelve hundred she just spent on top of the wrestling big and and then like Bodie or whatever the other kid gets like a cheeseburger for his birthday that's it like he says the room. like a Lego or the room that she promised one of her kids that she never gave him it's gonna be full you know what I'm saying you see how she overcompensates here hmm Enough. yeah and and the overcompensation means something just so you guys are aware. Right? It. I'm not. I don't even say it a lot, because you know what I mean. But it means something. That's so like awesome. Man, what's going on with this camera? Hold on, I gotta fix this. Yeah. Better. better? I need to get a second part. Why? You, you you don't have to have your hood on. Looks like you're thieving it. So aggressive. Day shopping around around. That's all you need, by the way. You're done now. Move along. Okay, birthday shopping around two. Round two. And you know she'll have and I get this list on Amazon. It's gonna be like 400 pages long. And now I see that Target dollar spot has Taylor Spit. Party sports stuff. Uh, well, mm. Target buggies are the best. Okay, wrapping paper. Mm -hmm. I want to run into the mall. Need some Sunny D straight sugar poison. Oh, update. Alicia's trying to get my other videos I made about her off the internet. She tried to strike another one um, by going this weird route because it had a sponsorship on it. And she tried to say that that link that was out of it was like bad link or something. I don't know. She's trying everything to strike me. Like everything. So it is what it is. She's really trying hard. She doesn't like my message about her, I guess. It's enough, Sunny D. That's good. This doesn't have to do with the party, but we are out of paper towels. I'm grabbing those while I'm here. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Shut up. I love how she buys like on brand sugar products, but off brand paper towels. That's enough. Okay, let's check out. I don't want to jinx it, but I think maybe there might be some sunshine today. It's going to rain. And you know why it's going to rain? Because you deserve it. Okay, last air. Von Maur. I'm going to mall for a couple things. You do not need any more things. Got yeah, them these outfits last year at JD Sports that they love and they wear all the time. So, so I'm going to go buy $1,700 more of outfits. Let's get them new outfits. 
It is crazy. I love those, but it doesn't look... Oh, they might. What's this size? No. Those are cute. I love those, but it's so cute. I gotta get them, and then I can get the sweatshirts online. I think I'm gonna get them in Adidas outfit too to match their shoes. That look cute. Holy tabuli! Okay. I'll check out there. That took a little while. Uh, now we're gonna go into one other store, and then we're gonna get pretzels for the snack board. Like the store I wanted to go to is closed. Ha <laughs> Loser. Okay, this is a bummer. Isn't that that toy store? There was a store right here that had a ton of WWE toys. That was that toy store she always went to. This is her. Like, that's why she waits till the last second. She's like, I didn't even know the thing was closed. Totally. Apparently went out of business. Well, let's get the pretzels. Oh my gosh. That's that cookie place. Mrs. Fields, oh, those cookies are so good. If I go to the States and don't stop at Mrs. Fields for my wife, I will be divorced. She needs like, a, it's just, you get a slice of the of the cookie. She loves them. I'm gonna peek in here and see if they have randomly any WWE stuff, but I do. I wish we had cool stores like this. I think they do. Our malls are balls. That was sweet, that was a good rhyme. They happen to have two Action figures. Oh my god, action figures. You have enough! I'll show you in the van. Because I'm gonna hurry because I still gotta get home. Stop doing the merp face so much. Your face is gonna freeze into that position. It almost is. It's she's almost permanently merped. <laughs> like she, when she has a stroke, she's gonna like her face is gonna freeze into a merp face. Okay. Like she's gonna walk into a restaurant with her merp face and be like, hi, can I help you? <laughs> No, that's me, not you. $30 each. $30 each. Liv Morgan. Probably, so you got the one that looked like a porn star. That's nice. And do we have him? I think I'll give this one to Jordan because I think, um. They don't make wrestlers like they used to. You know, you remember we grew up, the solid rubber, you could kill somebody with one of those wrestlers. Why don't they make those? Those were the best thing that ever happened to us. Jason Hardy. You had Hulk Hogan, and Kamala, I had Kamala, I had Andre the Giant, I had, uh, what's his name, uh, Randy Savage, whatever his name, oh yeah, I remember that guy? Oh man, we had good wrestlers. Wrestlers suck now. He has him, so. Jason Jordan. And then, I think I'll like, um, I think I'll get more stuff on Amazon. Put it in a gift bag and then I'll put the WWE. Well, I don't like get actual, Shut up. actual tickets anymore. Josh and I were just talking the other day. Like, we miss old school Do you? tickets to events. So just print one out. Pretend. The kids don't need to know. You can get them custom hate. But you don't do that because you don't think ahead. We just like had a ticket in your hand. Oh, okay. And now it's all digital. I bought them oh, on StubHub. They should change the entire way we do things for you. And from StubHub, I had to transfer it to Ticketmaster. And now from Ticketmaster, I have to transfer it to my Apple wallet. I'm like, where's just like the ticket? I just wanted the ticket. Save the planet. We know you like waste. They went paperless when so to chop down trees so you could get have a ticket. Anyways, I'm going to like find something to print to look like the ticket. That's what I said. Even though. So then why are you complaining? Why did you say any of that stuff? In today's world, we don't get tickets anymore. Your thumb needs a ticket to hell. And I'll put that in the bag with that. Yeah. That's... Her thumb could literally have its own, like, apartment. <laughs> like, she can visit it and stuff like that, but it needs its own space. That's my plan. I wish I would have got... I always say this. I need to just start buying more gift bags. No, you don't. Get less gifts. Because I wish we would have gotten one more, like, medium-sized gift bags. Now that Just literally put it all in a big-ass box and then just give it to them. One box full of all the stuff. Here you go. I got them two outfits, and I have to remember to order those sweatshirts. You don't need more sweatshirts. They got sweatshirts. Your blinkers. I don't even like the sound of your blinker. May or may not be sneaking a pretzel. Y'all tell me what I forgot to get. What? 
Why are you asking people on the internet what you forgot to get? Like they're in the car with you. Do you not find this weird? Candles. Oh, my God, candle. You don't have candles in a house of like 400 kids? You don't have some candles lying around? Oh my gosh. I think Walgreens has candles. Oh, we're gonna check out Please Walgreens. Candles. Just, you I seriously don't have candles in your house? Otherwise, I'm Instacarting candles. Actually, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna Instacart candles. Cool, so a candle that's gonna be like $4 and now is gonna be $30. That's smart. I can't believe I'm gonna do that. You're already out and about. Just go get it. But I have to get these <sighs> presents wrapped, so I have to get home. Get someone else to do it. All right, here's a better look at the Jordan outfits. Those are, those are ugly. I'm sorry. Those are ugly. I think they're gonna love them. These are their Adidas outfits. I want to see what they look like with the shoes I got. Oh my, she got shoes! Now, if any of you watched our back to school shoe shopping, you know that Jordan really wanted Sambas, but we couldn't find them. So, I made a mental note of that and ordered them for his birthday. You're a bad mom and I don't think you know it, but maybe you do and you don't care. You know, whatever you get one twin, I have learned you get the other twin the same thing. Even if they tell you they want different things, after the fact, they're going to say... Or, hear me out, you say, no, you got plenty. You'll be grateful for what you get. I, I wish I'd gotten the same thing. So I just always get the same thing. Okay. You're a terrible, terrible person. So, ordered these online. Are those back? Those were in, those were in when I was in high school. That's so cute. Okay. Says now we're gonna wrap presents for four hours. Oh. Holy, I she know. is. Every time I'm wrapping presents, I think of that. Okay. Oh my gosh, I love. She shops the day of their birthday, not the day before. I just realized it. The day and the cake, everything. The day of. It. Wow! I wonder if Wegman's cake's good. <gasps> it's so cool! She puts too many candy balloons on things. Back to wrapping. Back to wrapping. Ooh, your carpet's that. nasty. Well, no, they don't know they're getting the PS5. They asked for it. But I always... They know they're getting it because they get everything they ask for. So. Spare me. Anytime my kids ask for something, I'm always like, I don't know. What's and then I get it for them, so they, they ask for crazy things, and they know they're going to get them, because I can put it in a video. We'll see. You know. Shut up. You know that game. Um, That's a, I, like, I like that dog. I don't know. They're really hard to find. I don't know if I'll find one. Hey, I they mean, know. Just, they know you're gonna, they're going to get everything, so that's fine. You can't always find. Best Buy I have. About three and stuff. He's not that happy we got our little sister. <laughs> That's not something to flex about. My other dog hates his other dog. Hey, <laughs> so, isn't that quirky? And gave her a middle child. Your thumb is the middle child. I mean, so much. These are too big. Holy crap, lady! Could you imagine? Oh my gosh! I can't. And she, it's uh, it's so crazy because these twins will get like literally thousands and thousands of dollars, and then like Bodie or the other kids, they get like, here's this, here's some, here's some dryer lint. Enjoy it. Okay, I just finished the after school snack. <laughs> so crazy! Oh my gosh! I went with a pretzel and candy corn. Here's some old oranges. They're two of their favorite. And you know who's not going to, none of the oranges are going to be touched. All right, we are here at the park. We're bringing everything over there to the picnic tables and getting it set up. We oh, have these, these two movements. Cool, let's have a birthday. It's freezing outside. Yeah. Sounds like fun. Hi, are you still at the house? Zuzu. Come here. Jordan, here. He's got the wiffle ball. Me. It's in the box. Oh, I don't think the towel. This one's just soggy wet. It's white. They'll figure it out when they're over there. The kids are complaining. 
It's so wet and soggy and gross outside. Let me grab that corner. We're gonna do a pull and drag. Oh, that's why does Josh never help ever with his children? Never. He's never around, man. Like Alicia deserves all the misery she has, but Josh doesn't help ever. This is likely a weekend, right? I get no. She said after school. They're doing this after school. Why don't you wait for a Saturday? Table decoration. Look at be cute. Oh, Josh said Josh had to come to the party because it just has reflux and that's not a reason to skip a party. Some of the kids didn't even want to go to their own brother's birthday party. That's nice. Why do the little kids have acid reflux? Oh, I'll tell you why. It's because they eat nothing but trash. You gotta get set up. Of course there's a Kona ice truck too. Of course, and it's freezing out. I love eating freezing things while it's freezing. Double freeze. Oh, I'm just letting them know we're over here. <laughs> this is great. Again, Alicia just take a, the money that she has and invest in Kona ice trucks. Like, but the, the amount of that that she spent on these trucks, she could probably own one by now. <laughs> and get your kids to work for it. Remember it says nutritious and delicious? There's nothing on this truck that's nutritious. I reached out to Kona. I think I said this a while ago. I was like, can you tell me what's nutritious about your stuff? And they were so upset with me. <laughs> like, don't say it's nutritious. Nothing in there is nutritious. F off. Nutritious. Okay, that should be illegal to put something on the side of a sugar ice truck. Nu the word nutritious. That should be illegal to put that there. Yeah, birthday videos before. This is a Kona ice truck. I just did the claw hands. Damn it. And then they pick the flavor they want. We know. You've shown us the Kona ice truck 18 times. That's nutritious. That, nutritious <laughs> like i think it's anti-nutrients like there's nothing good there's not you don't drink this and your body's like oh i could use some of this over here i'll take some of the nutrients out of this and use it nothing in kona ice is beneficial to your body okay maybe the water are they saying the water's nutritious <laughs> Yeah. All right, let me see. Did you bring in? All right, let me set the camera first so we can get it on camera. Oh, wow. Never forget, too, that these kids can't even have one event in their life. Not one. Not one event that she doesn't absolutely film for strangers on the internet. Nothing. They get nothing that is ever private. Never forget it. Friends from the... Yes, yeah. friends. And you know what? It'd be crazy. The video might even go viral if your kid opens it's like, oh my God, your PS5. <laughs> but these kids open these insanely expensive gifts and they're like, meh. Meh. They're going to flip out. He's <laughs> open and throw this. They don't say anything. There's no thank you. It's like, next. They're going to flip out. <laughs> Yeah. This, this is what's there. That says Jordan. That says Jason. I think Papa got everything out of the truck. I grabbed a bunch. They don't even open the cards. Like, yeah, no. Bye -bye. Yes. Bye -bye. The miracle. They have like a hundred football songs. Th thanks, Nana, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Your pain. Your little... Nice! Nana, keep your voice down. Indoor voice, Nana. She's got this booming... Okay, we hear you. I think she needs... She's just been conditioned because Pops takes his like earring aid off when Nana talks. So she has to overcompensate. Oh, man. He is I knew before they even opened it because like like maybe you'll get it. Yes, they'll get it. I, I, I like that they're excited about it. But they probably have five PS5s in this house already. Yeah, the kids like that's obvious because they asked for it. <laughs> Why did you get another TV, moron? That's so that you don't have to share your other two TVs you already have. Oh, good idea, ma'am. <laughs> oh, my 
gosh. It's a game. It's a game. They don't even care. Look at them. They don't even give a crap. They're like, okay. They're going to flip out. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yes. They don't even care. They open these things and they're like, okay. They're going to flip out. That's mind blowing. She spends five thousand dollars on birthday and they don't even care. <laughs> they don't either. Like, why? Look at what that's. I mean, yeah, you're gonna play the same thing. Once you open these, and then you have these. Left. Push it right in a nutshell, right there for you. <laughs> and she reframed it so she can capture this. Yeah, put it together. <laughs> they don't even get it's an extra game they're like it was, it was a game <laughs> like holy cow <laughs> what is that john cena WWE. okay this Jason, is I'll, I'll you in they don't even care it's so crazy that she doesn't realize this and ah uh, now listen. Look at these kids. They just opened ten thousand dollars with gifts, and they're like, "Nah." Your main present isn't a. Your main present. Thing. It's something we're gonna go do. Okay. They're going to flip out. Oh, so yeah. You don't have anything right now. <laughs> You're gonna be really excited in like a week when we go do it. Okay. Okay, give it to them. It's an experience. Instead of it's like, oh, I've been saying that, by the way, so she's listening. Thanks, whoever's yelling back there. Like they're talking. Like, I think Alicia expects them to be like, oh my god, it will go viral moment on YouTube. And the kid's like, yeah, okay, let's see cake. Where are you going? Oh, WWE show. They don't care. Hey. The tickets in there. In the, in the chat. They're going to flip out. Oh. Yeah, don't throw the bag away with the ticket. Okay, hey, Nana, relax. I'm finally going to one. Nobody is. It's so sad. It's so crazy. I know these kids are getting lots of stuff and everything else, but they don't. This isn't what they want. And you make like as a parent, you should know what your children want. You're gonna give them experience to do things. I, yeah, they want to go to W. I'm not saying they don't want it. I'm just saying they get so much of everything that they want for nothing, and they, they appreciate nothing, and that's gonna turn into them into crappy adults. It really will. Is everyone going? <laughs> yeah, they are. He's like, uh. So that should tell you everything you know. So this was supposed to be this big climactic event. She was so excited. He's like, is everybody coming? She's like, yeah. Well, I don't want that. He's like, okay, I don't, I don't like that. They don't all have to go. Take them just with you. That's time together. But no, you know why she wants to take everybody? So she can vlog about it. The birthday present isn't actually for them. It's for her to make more content. So we're going on Friday? Oh, yeah, they're having so much fun. So excited. Yeah, see, they're trying to even, hey, you should be more excited for this camera here. So the adults can't believe what they're seeing. They're like, you should be excited. This is crazy. They don't care. You know why I don't care? Because they don't appreciate anything. And you know why I don't appreciate anything? It's because you give them everything their heart desires. And they can't, they don't understand appreciation or th I didn't see them say thank you once in this entire video, by the way. Yeah. Everybody has now left and we are finishing up. They want to get everything set up. So I don't know how late we'll be out, but we're going to work on that. They're going to get this set up, but thank you for spending the twins birthday with us. You are strong. You are beautiful. Your light makes you look evil and you are evil though. You are loved. You belong. And Check your light situation there. This is what you see in horror movies. I'm so proud of you. I'll see you next time. Okay, well, again, just like Alicia does, Alicia's gonna do. $5,000 worth of gifts. She's expecting this big viral moment on her channel and the kids are always, it never ceases to amaze me. These kids have zero thankfulness in their lives. They're going to flip out. They don't want to be around. They don't want to do things. Oh, is everybody coming? Yes. Well, then I don't want to go. I should tell you everything you need to know about this thing, person. So there you go, everybody.
What an idiot. Take a deep fall breath with your cozy fall sweater ready. <sighs> Unless you live in the southern states where it's hot as balls, then do what you gotta do. Too bad you can't get this type of stuff. It's the thing about living in hot southern states. You don't get to do cozy sweaters. It's always hot. Ew. If you don't know what it's like to put on a cozy sweater on a nice fall day, I feel sorry for you. But you know what I don't feel sorry for? How awesome you are. That you are worthy, you are incredible, and you need to be here. Protect your kids and be, and stay awesome, okay? Light a fire, have some fun. That you are worthy, you are amazing, and you are awesome, and I will see you when I see you. Thank you.